and welcome back to another exciting episode of Parallel World Chat. We got a great special guest today. It's Aradin of Arbor Bar of Jupiter 19. But before we get started, let me introduce my other co-host. As always, hailing from the backwoods of Woodback Woods, Mr. Bunny Rabbit the Bunny Rabbit. Whenever I'm having a rough day, I like to stand in front of the mirror butt naked and I just start singing the lyrics, Life is a highway, I want to ride it all night long. <laughs> oh, that is rich. <laughs> Dude, not funny, because immediately afterwards I eat an entire cake. Moving on, my next guest, we all still don't know how old he is, but the lovable Larry Fester, everybody. For your information, I'm somewhere between 80 and 82. So what you're saying is that you are 81 years old, right? Yeah, 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 71, whatever, sure, whatever you gotta say, I don't care. Dude, he said 81, you said 71, you said between 80 and 82, why are you doing this? How old are you? I already told you, I'm 61, how many times do I gotta say it? Dude, now you're saying 61. How old are you? It's none of your business. Why don't you just do the math and figure it out yourselves? Any day now, they're going to be kicking us off the air. But until then, let me introduce my next co-host, the wild and wonderful Internet Cool Guy. <laughs> Internet Cool Guy, you will always be a mystery to me. Who are you? Let's take a moment to actually hear about the lives of our co-hosts. What have you all been up to lately? The other morning I was walking down the beach and I was wearing blue jeans and a white t-shirt and people kept saying, hey, is that Bruce Springsteen? And I'm just like, how annoying. Dude, that didn't happen. You are so lying right now, you liar. That did so happen because I remember thinking, oh, not again. Larry, so what you're saying is that you are often mistaken to be as Bruce Springsteen. That's right, and when they ask about Bruce Springsteen, I tell them yes! Dude, you realize you are not benefiting in any way by lying about being Bruce Springsteen to anybody. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with all these lies that you're telling today? It's true, I actually had to stop wearing a red hat like his album cover. Larry, do you think that you can name me at least three of his songs? Yeah, this should be good. Let the lies roll in. Well, there's that one song, uh, Don't Stop Believing. Dude, that's not Bruce Springsteen. That is Journey. Journey, dude. Actually, what I meant to say was any way you want it. That song, you know, any way you want it. Larry, I think you're getting confused entirely with Journey. I'm not confused because my favorite song is that uh, wheel in the sky that uh, keeps on turning. You know, I'm seriously going to lose my cool. I cannot even handle this. Journey, uh, Bruce Springsteen, oh my, what is going on? How about everybody calm down right now. Let's all take a break and have a commercial right now. Mr. Bunny Rabbit, why don't you go have a cigarette or whatever you do. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back. Yeah, I quit six months ago. We'll be right back. Yo, dog, I know you didn't go and clean your underwear yet, right? Well, you better not because Pee Your Pants Con is coming now. So hold out. The Pee Your Pants Con, you're going to get some of the first looks and some of the top grade new toilet paper coming out this summer. For every day that you don't change your underwear and you leave your underwear dirty, that's a whole nother day that there's an extra roll of toilet paper in this world. Holla! I'm sick of stepping in the toilet rooms and going, hey, where's the toilet paper? This show is going to stop that problem. Get your tickets on sale now for $80 for half a night. Pee your pants con. If I went to pee your pants con, I'd probably be breaking world records. You know, Larry, I like you on all and uh, whatever, but uh, you could be pretty disgusting a lot. Those things are the things that make me unique like a snowflake, you know? That's right, Larry, you're a big old snowflake, and that's why we love you. <laughs> he said we. I don't get it. What's so funny? Why, why, why is everybody laughing? Snowflakes are unique and not two or alike. You know, they're all different. Don't patronize me, internet cool guy. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with internet cool guy. You don't know what that guy's capable of. 
And that really doesn't matter right now because it's time to meet today's guest, Aradin of Arbabar. Hello, and thank you for having me on your show, Parallel World Jet. I thank you. I haven't felt this excited since I seen the movie Spare the Mirror. But I woke up today and I said, today is going to be better than that one. Dude, I know that I say this every week, but I swear, man, you got one wicked voice. Wow. That reminds me to, uh, to tell you, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, that that's not really nice. He doesn't care. He thinks that nice is a disposable object. Well, actually, this is my voice. I just thought that the other one sounded more friendly. <sighs> well, that might be the most terrifying sound that I've ever heard in my life. Where I come from, my voice is one of the top known voices in the audiobook world. <sighs> You know what, let's just play a clip of your film, Araddin, and it's okay to steal and how to manipulate people. I didn't steal this bread, but I tell you what, if you can catch me while I run around, then I'll give the bread back to you. I really, really, really want this, and since I don't have to lie to anybody, I can just take it and steal it instead. Can your friends do this? <laughs> You're never gonna get me because I'm faster than fast stuff. Can our friends go have a cadabra? Right now, Smizney is talking about making a second one. I think the movie looks kind of interesting. I like the guy that farts a lot. I can relate. <coughs> Isn't that cool, guy? We ought to think you're cool. You don't got a fart to keep up. He's just a master at his craft and what he does, you know? Here's a fun fact. All the farts that you hear in the film are actually really coming out of him. Most films like to use CGI for that, but not this one. I bet he got a rash. I mean, if he's got to be farting that much, he's got to get a rash. Maybe he got that vacation rash be gone, Cream. It appears the internet cool guy is losing reception with us right now. Try turning your volume down lower, like a lot lower. Dude gets on a show and thinks he can do what he wants just because he's an internet cool guy. Well, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, that's because those are the rules of the internet cool guy. Does anybody plan on asking me any questions? Yeah, I do. What theater is it at? It's at every single movie theater that's standing. Okay, then. I'll avoid every movie theater for two days, right? <laughs> he doesn't really want to go. <laughs> But it does appear to be that that's enough time for tonight, so does anyone have anything else they'd like to say? Dry top ramen with seasoning sprinkled on top is not a good snack. Do you think if you were in China and you ordered some American food, and then you just thought, hey, this isn't really American food because I'm in China, and American food is served in America. That might be the dumbest thing that you've ever said yet. Thank you, everybody. Good night, and until next time on Parallel World Chat. Bippity boppity boop. <laughs>